Hello, this is Kerouk Almasian and you are watching Seriana Analysis. Today is the 28th of May 2019. I would like to give you some updates of what's going on in Syria and especially in the city of Idlib. But before we dive in, I want to give this video some context. First of all, Idlib was part of Sochi Agreement, that means the escalation zone, and later was part of a demilitarized zone, an agreement that was signed by Turkey and Russia. But these deals are temporary deals, they are not permanent deals, and uh, the parties agreed on this agreement should achieve certain, uh, should make some certain steps underground so that these uh, deals are successful or uh, so that they could agree on uh, later on new deals. But Turkey was supposed to create a 20 to 30 kilometers uh, demilitarized zone in Idlib. Uh, that means uh, the most radical groups, especially HDS, shouldn't have heavy artilleries in this 20 to 30 kilometers. They shouldn't have military presence and they shouldn't fire on uh, the Syrian army positions or uh, the towns held by the Syrian government. However, on the ground, um, Turkey failed or didn't have the interest or the intention to implement this agreement. The HDS uh, is still in this 20 to 30 kilometers. They have heavy artilleries. Uh, their uh, most radical uh, elements, especially the multinational jihadists, are fighting in this uh, part. So the deal uh, has crumbled. And the Syrian army, in order to either revive the diplomacy or to break uh, these militants uh, forever, uh, they launched a military operation from northern Hama. And as we can see, the Syrian army concentrating its efforts on the southern part of uh, Idlib and the northern part of this north uh, Hama. Only uh, this, this town was very difficult to capture. Uh, last week, Syrian army liberated Kafarna Buda, and two days ago they lost it again, and now they recapture it once again. But for the Syrian army to secure Kafarna Buda, in my opinion, they have to occupy this Tel Sakhar, they have to occupy this Tal el Kunaitira, and these small towns, because they are relatively high hills, and they could overlook over Kafarna Buda so that they can uh, trace the movements of uh, the HTS and other terrorist organizations before they arrive to Kafarna Buda. Especially that these terrorist groups are coming with uh, car bombs and uh, exploding themselves among the Syrian army uh, positions. So it's very difficult uh, to trace without these high hills in, in this side and try, try to trace uh, all the movements of the militants. But what is the strategy of the Syrian army? This is the most important question, in my opinion. This, in, in my opinion, the Syrian army, after uh, Kafar Nabuda, they are going to al Habid. That means they are going closely to Khan Sheikhoun. And going to Khan Sheikhoun means the Syrian army could be trying to create some sort of a belt, like this, to here. So when they create this belt, they will isolate this part from this part. But by isolating means this part is military in the military means is uh, has fallen in the hands of the Syrian army because they will block the military reinforcement uh, to the militants on this side. But most importantly, they will have a presence on M5 highway. This is an international highway. It's very important and it this seems the strategy of the Syrian army. If we see how the Syrian army is trying to advance to either to Khan Sheikhoun or to here and try to create this, um, uh, let's say, island. Uh, and if we check what the Syrian army is doing in southwest of Aleppo, also near the M5 uh, highway, this gives us an impression that the Syrian army is trying to capture the beginning and the end of the M5 highway. And this is very important for um, the economy of Syria, because as we know, Aleppo is the heart of the Syrian economy and industry, and since its liberation in 2016 and the attempts to reconstruct it, the full recovery cannot be achieved without uh, connecting Aleppo with this M5 highway all the way to the city of Hama, which goes to Homs and later to Damascus. And also you can go to Daraa and to uh, Jordan. So 
Imagine that you have all these industries are trying to be rebuilt and reconstructed in Aleppo and you cannot uh, export them. So this is very important for the Syrian army. That's why they're trying to capture the beginning of the M5 and the end of the M5 um, uh, highway uh, from the Aleppo uh, front and also from uh, the Hama Idlib uh, side. But the second front that the Syrian army opened in southwest of uh, Aleppo is also has another goal, which is to ease the uh, pressure, the military pressure on the Syrian army forces in North Hama and South uh, Idlib, because the militants have sent all their reinforcement to the side, especially the multinational terrorists. So by opening a second front here, it's a wise decision to uh, to ease this uh, pressure on the Syrian army and try to disperse the efforts of the militants. But I'm hearing some, or I'm reading some reports, this is not 100% sure, but I'm reading them and my sources are saying yes, there are some intentions for that, but in my opinion this will be very, very difficult. The Syrian army is not only trying to uh, occupy this beginning of the M5 uh, highway, but they want to go all the way to Babel Hawa border crossing. Babel Hawa border crossing means opening the border crossing with Turkey, and this border crossing was a major border crossing for business and e economy and relations with, with Turkey. Will they be able to do it? I'm not 100% sure. It is possible if if Russia puts all its military weight in it, uh, the Syrian army, the ground forces are able to do it. And uh, in my opinion, the NDF National Defense Forces, Hezbollah forces, Al Quds Brigade could participate in this uh, operation here. And in the south, uh, the Republican Guard, the Tiger Forces. Uh, the seventh uh, division of the Syrian army and other factions uh, can participate in this. So, from both sides, it's it's possible. Uh, this is the M4 highway, which connects Latakia all the way to Sarakeb and then joins the M5 highway to Aleppo. Will this be a sec another goal of the Syrian army? It is possible. It is possible. But first, they need to. Um, capture Kabani. Kabani is the key, this uh, high uh, hill. This is a key if they want to go to just a show, that means to start liberating the M4. But in my opinion, this could be in the second phase of the uh, military operation. And I am not sure if we are going to witness this anytime soon. So this is all the developments, or most of the de developments in Idlib. Uh, also, there is uh, one major development happened in south of Syria, uh, where uh, the Israeli occupation forces fired missiles on a Syrian uh, armored uh, vehicle, and they killed one Syrian officer and one Syrian soldier. Um, the Israeli side claims that uh, Syria fired on um, Israeli uh, fighter jet uh, in a routine mission over the Golan Heights, but the Golan Heights is uh, occupied Syrian territory. So even according to international law, Syria can uh, actually use force to recapture this uh, part from uh, Israel. But if the Israelis are not trying to provoke the Syrians from the Golan Heights, they're, they're flying over uh, Lebanon in its original waters or even over Lebanon in Baalbek and elsewhere. And they are firing from here on on, on, on Syria. And this is very crazy. Let's see how things will develop with Israel in a later stage. So this is all my friends in this video. If you like it, please share it on Facebook because um, I'm blocked on Facebook uh, for 30 days, uh, 20 more days left to be able to come back for a very silly reason. Uh, I'm not able to post it on Syriana Analysis Facebook page, anything. So if you want to follow me, follow me on Twitter, uh, Kevor Palmasian. I put the handler also in the description below. And uh, if you want to support me uh, uh, more, please become my patron. Why not? You can make me a full-time 
uh, independent journalists creating you videos on daily basis, uh, not only about Syria, but on many major geopolitical issues going on in the world, and I could host more uh, guests uh, via Skype. So this was all. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.